Hey, the Wiz here. Got a quick tutorial on how to draw a D20 using Fusion 360. It is a pay program, but you can download it and use it for free for 30 days. So draw your D20, you know, export the object file, and then you can print it anytime you like. So first thing we're going to do is start off with a sketch. I'm drawing in millimeters. I'm drawing in 3D. It just makes it easier to see how you lay out. All we're drawing is three rectangles. So on the first on the first plane, I'll pick on the x-axis here, and I want to create a rectangle, a center point rectangle. And I'm going to 100 millimeters by 161.8. That's the golden ratio, 161.8. I'm going to finish that sketch, create another sketch, I'm going to pick on a plane here, create another rectangle, center point. And I want this one to be 100 millimeters by 161.8. I'll finish that sketch. Create one more sketch. We're going to pick on the plane we haven't picked yet. Create another rectangle, then a point rectangle. Now this one's going to be 161.8 by 100. And I'm going to finish that, and there we go. We got our structure to draw a d20. So now we want to create another sketch. It doesn't matter what plane you pick on, just pick on a plane. And this one I'm, I'm drawing a 3D sketch over here. Make sure that's checked or this will not work. I'm going to pick a line. And basically what we're going to do is the short side of the, the rectangle. So we got the 161.8 and the 100 here. I'm going to pick on the corners of the 100 and attach it to the long end of the rectangle, 161.8. One line, back there, back to where we started. So that's our first base of the D20. Basically, I'm gonna do that again. Now we got our second base. And then you kind of just kind of start clicking points. Now we're right here, want this one, goes off to that one. So, you know, you just got to keep rotating it around. I've done this a few times, so I'm, I kind of see it a little bit easier. I have a short side here, so I want to click here. There. Point. Keep on, you just keep on rotating it around. Oh, see right there? That was a bad click, so I want to undo that. And I'm going to draw another line. See, I've drawn this so many times when I still mess up. Keep on rotating. This is like the, the most challenging part of it, just connecting the, the lines together. But once, you, once you've done it a few times, you start to see it. It's, you know, the, like the faces of the D20. So it's just, it starts to come together easier. Out a little bit so you see it a bit better. Keep on rotating. Pretty soon. Finish up all the faces. Oh couple more. You just got to keep on rotating it. Oh, there we go, I think. I think that's it. I'm going to just zoom out a little bit. Rotate around. Okay, that looks good. We'll finish this sketch. And just to make sure I come in the sketches, we'll turn off those first three rectangles we drew. So now it looks... See, it's all blue. I don't see any any gaps in it. Okay. Now what we want to do is come up to surface and we want to create a patch. Click patch. We just come around and click all the faces. And it'll, it'll start counting up profile one, two, three. So we'll just go up until it says profile 20. Click all of them. Last two, 19, 20, all right. Click okay. And there we go, now we got all our faces. It's not a solid yet. It's just like a bunch of flat patches. So now what we're gonna do is select all of it and come up here to stitch. 
See, I've got some red areas, so basically just rotate around and click on those faces where the red's at. And eventually they'll turn green. Keep on clicking, okay. Now we got all of them green, and we'll click okay. There we go. Now we can go over here and click on bodies. See, it selects the whole thing. Now it's a solid, so we can basically go in and add numbers. So, on the next on the next video, we'll go in here and we'll add numbers. And if you'd like to see like the rest of the like how to make an actual set of polyhedral dice, I can make a whole tutorial on how to draw it in Fusion 360. Just let me know. But on the next video, I'm going to add numbers. We're going to do, like I said, we're doing a spin down so we're not doing the the traditional like 20 would be on this side and one would be on the other side so it's going to go 20 19 18 17 so it makes it easy to count down or count up life points in magic like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos